I'm Pat with AIS and we're going to do a head changeover. We've got another, uh, another size of O-ring we're going to be running. So the first step is, is to turn the, the power supply off and we're going to get rid of these rings that are in the bowl. One of the tools that can help you is this little pick tool that is supplied in your maintenance package. That's handy for getting the rings that are inside this discharge chute here. So once we pull them out of here and get them back to this point, you can almost brush these things and push them into a pile. This typically works pretty well. I just kind of push them all around into one area to grab them. Then we can just use a baggie or something or whatever container you've got your other O-rings in. Some of our customers, they like uh, a dedicated vacuum cleaner. It's uh, something you're not gonna use on dirt, but you can use it on the O-rings. And that's a very quick way if you're doing a lot of changeovers. We're gonna be placing this other head with discharge chute and uh, it has its own dedicated mandrel, of course, dedicated uh, drag blocks, and they are a few hookups that we're gonna have to disconnect on this head. We've got a couple of thumb screws here that once you loosen, you can pull these fiber optics out. These are the ones that monitor for when the bowl is to kick on and off. Now we also have a oiler tube that simply pulls out. We let that drape down here. We have a connection here. It's a proximity switch. We're gonna just unscrew this collar and pull that off. We can let that dangle. There are a couple of screws at the base, one on this side and one on the other side over here. We can't forget to pull our, our mandrel out and put it back into the protective tube here. I'm gonna set that aside. These require a 3 16 Allen wrench. We've got one over here on the other side. There's one other thing that is hooked to this head on the back side, if we come over here, you can see there's a tube comes up for the air assist. Uh, this is called a push lock fitting. It has that little orange collar on it. So as you put a little pressure on that collar, it'll release the grip on this tube. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with one hand and pull with the other and it pulls right down. Now our head is ready to be lifted off. It just sits on these two dowel pins here on the chassis and that locates the head. We'll set this aside. One of the things that we're gonna be changing out is the discharge chute. So we have to remove the discharge chute that is currently in the bowl. Now that requires a 764 Allen wrench. There are three screws that hold it to the bowl itself. Now there is also a, uh, we call this a, a knockoff. So it'll get adjusted with the diameter of the ring. The ring that we were running with this other head is a little bit smaller. So we're gonna end up coming up a little bit. We'll finish taking these screws out. Uh, as you can see, we have this upper guide wire that comes down to the very end of the discharge chute and it's clamped. So we just loosen this clamp up and it allows us to slide this discharge chute out. We're gonna bring this one in. This happens to be a little snug. So we're gonna get it started. I'm just gonna snug this up for now and you can pop this into the the pocket that it that resides in in the bowl. And you can see it's machined out just for this uh, the size of this discharge chute. There we go. Now you want to start all three of your bolts before you tighten anything down. Now since this is a, a cast aluminum bowl, it doesn't need to be super tight. Uh, we have both the cast aluminum is soft along with the stainless screws. They're not quite as hard as say a steel screw. Now just before I snug them down, I like to make sure that it's all the way in this way. Makes for a nice smooth transition. Now you can check it with your, your O-ring, but typically you want this, this wire about right up to this here. And usually that works out just fine. This will end up being fairly parallel. And then uh, you would snug this up Actually, a regular Allen wrench that, I, that we've given you in the maintenance package actually works a little nicer. Okay, now that we have our discharge chute in place, I'm gonna move my attention down to these drag blocks. Now this here, as you can see, can be pulled out. And in order to change these over, then we have to remove this 
pin retainer and there's the pins that actually hold them in place. So this is the same size screw that we used for our bowl discharge. So that simply unscrews. You can either do these one at a time or pull them both out. Now if you look in behind here, there's a little spring and a spring pocket. So when we replace the, uh, the new one, you want to make sure that you get your spring started into the spring pocket. And you can see that there is a point on one end of the retaining pin. That makes it a little easier to find. I'm going to go ahead and do that with the other one here too. Pull the pin, pull this one out. I'm going to start that in. And it'll find the hole. And we'll replace our pin retainer. It goes up on top here. And this doesn't have to be all that tight either. Just, just a light snug down and it should be fine. So now we can push this back out of the way and we'll be able to drop our other head in place. Now typically I like to wipe the surface down and before I place the head, we just drop it onto these pins. We replace our screws. We're basically putting everything back that we had taken off earlier. We have the oil nozzle, we have a prox switch, simply it'll line up. There is a, uh, a little notch in a uh, little tang, if you will, and you can feel it. It'll engage and then you can screw it in. We have an air assist on the back side of the head. You simply push this tube inside of there and it'll couple up like that. And we have our fiber optic cables, which just push all the way down in, and then you can snug them up. I like to keep a little pressure on them while I'm snugging them up. Same thing with the bottom, I'm just pushing it up inside and snug that down with my fingers. And at this point, we're ready to take our mandrel out of the protective sleeve, place it into these jaws, and we'll turn our machine on. That starts the, uh, the bowl operating. Once we're ready, we'll get a little bit of lube onto our mandrel, spread it around, press it in once, that brings out the fresh O-ring, and then you're ready to roll. That's all there is to it.